Hey everybody, my name is Jonah and I'm here to show you how to make an instrument rack in Ableton. So to build an instrument rack, you pretty much need to just go to Instruments, Instrument Rack, drag that in your MIDI channel that you'd like to use, and then you just start dragging instruments in. So for today, we'll just uh, build some pads as an instrument rack. We'll take this one, and then we need to expand this little list looking expansion node on the bottom here and then click that and then you actually need to press chain after that and chain is the world that we need to do a little bit of homework on so grab this pad oh, actually that's the pad i grabbed already I'm delete that grab this pad this pad and we'll grab one more for one for good measure now all of these little dots here are the important thing we need to move around so chain is a list of selection i'm going to call them nodes uh, that we need to move around so this first one is at zero and then they're all at zero right now so we need to move them to the following one up so i'm going to bring this one up to one i'm going to bring this one up to two i'm going to bring this one up to three and then i'm going to expand this little guy here which is our macro list and that's going to come in handy in just a second so now our chain is going to allow us to select between these different synthesizer node numbers and the way we do that is right click this actual little node here and map to macro one yeah we are in the world of macro so now that we have the chain selector i'm just going to press play on the synth with a little loop I got up here. Then when we change change the chain number, I'm just turning this, and you hear the different synths. Now that could be as far as you go, but I gotta say, uh, the CPU consumption definitely builds up if you got all these left on. So there's one other step you can do, and that's map the on off switch of these babies so i'm going to press map which is right here and then make sure i'm on the first synthesizer and then i'm going to right click the on off switch and map to chain selector so that when we choose that specific synthesizer it turns on and off now the other thing i gotta do is go into this macro mapping world up in here and assign it to its number that it is down here that's really important so it starts at zero it doesn't start at one which is very noteworthy as well so i'm going to assign that to zero press ok click on the next one right click the on off switch map to chain selector double click the minimum and maximum assign those to one make sure you double click too because i've made the mistake of just single clicking uh these areas and it uh doesn't doesn't quite grab it to assign the number uh, so right click map to chain selector on that power option set to number two the third one map to chain selector now I'm going to get out of mapping world press play <laughs> Now they'll turn on and off as you go through them. That is about it. Well, thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe or not. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.